Assalamu alaikum everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while since I have posted anything on my channel. But today I decided to make a video on the things I mentioned in the community post some days back. So uh, starting with the main thing. Firstly, I want to make it clear that whatever I'm saying in this video is my personal experience and it's what I feel about things. It's my personal opinion and I'm not generalizing the things. It's not important that everyone should uh, agree on agree with me on this fact and uh, different people have different opinions. Uh, but there are things which I feel that every neat aspirant he should know before coming into the profession. Uh, we are going to talk about two, three things. Now, starting with the first, the high cutoff for the open minute students. Uh, the uh, in two, near 2024, it was, uh, you know, very high. It touched the sky high. And uh, uh, open minute boys uh, with 648 marks, they only managed to get into GMC Hanwar or GMC Udampur. Uh, so it's very hard for a uh, open merit student in the current scenario to get into a decent medical college and uh, by saying this i'm not accusing the uh, uh, category students be it scst uh, ews or pwd uh, they also have equal rights on the opportunities which we are offered in the society but it's uh, at the responsibility of the administration that they make sure that uh, the categories they are getting benefited upon uh, they are not fake and they are uh, duly checked before uh, appearing into the counseling or getting entertained into the counseling so this is the thing that i wanted to share and the main now the main purpose of this video is about the fake marketing of the mbbs by saying this what i mean uh, is that every neat aspirant must have experienced that in the preparation phase itself he is fed with the stigma that if you fail to clear the neat uh, you have failed to meet the uh, you know social norms, social standard, and you have failed to uh, prove your worth to the society. And if you somehow clear the need, it's like you have achieved everything in life, and uh, it's like your life is settled at the moment itself. Both these things are wrong. I will make you understand by an example. For example, there are two students, uh, student A and student B. Why I'm giving this example is that the impact of this negative marketing of MBBS on the um, you know um, uh, minds of the uh, students be it a selected student or a non-selected student i will uh, you know show you that how the negative marketing of MBBS impacts the minds of both selected as well as non-selected student firstly uh, let me give you an example there are two students student a and student b for example uh, they both get enrolled in the same batch in pcb and uh, now after the they appear in the neat exam uh, the student a gets selected and the student b he is not able to uh, clear it right now uh, let's have a look on the student a the student a because of the fake marketing and the fake glamour that he is uh, exposed to before in the preparation phase when he comes into the medical college the reality that never meets the expectations and it is devastating for him i have experienced it, it myself and i know many of my friends it takes one or two years to accept the reality and uh, accept that mbbs life is going to be hard and whatever we were taught about the mbbs life it's, it was all fake and uh, so the uh, students face many uh, mental challenges in the first two years of the MBBS. So this, this selected student, he's getting uh, impacted already. Now have a look on the student B who is not able to clear the need. What happens to him is because of the failure, because of the hype that's been created in the society, uh, he feels that he's a failure and he face, he himself, you know, curses himself and because of the guilt, because of the inferiority complex, he's never able to get satisfied. So this overhypeness or this fake marketing of the MBBS, this is impacting the selected students as well as the non-selected students. So I think it's the responsibility of the teachers who uh, teach you in the 11th, 12th or entrance phase that uh, uh, they should give equal, you know, importance to every profession and you should be fed with the thing that if the after clearing 12th you have an entrance exam and if you clear it you will get into medical college and you can serve the society like this and you have better options i think uh, by getting selected you will have some opportunities over others but if you fail to clear it there is no need to lose heart and you have other professions you have other opportunities in life and you can serve the society equally you know, and uh, it should not be more biased to MBBS only, and it impacts the students, uh, you know, uh, adversely. 
and one more thing that i want to add is that uh, it's for a parents that uh, they should not you know put pressure on their uh, wards uh, for the neat exam i know many of the students they are preparing only the sake uh, only for the sake of their parents they themselves are not interested in the profession so it so the message of this video is if you are preparing for the neat uh be ready if you get selected be ready to get drilled in the mbbs the glamour that you are shown uh, of the mbbs life it's not uh, up to the expectations when you come into the mbbs life there will be many challenges and you will feel at times that uh, it was not the right decision to come into the profession but it's a rewarding profession in the long run and if you don't get selected uh, don't lose heart you will have some better opportunities uh, in life you can serve the society in other uh, professions as well and uh, the uh, next statement it's a uh, controversial st statement i am personally it's my personal opinion i don't think it's worth taking so many drops for mbbs i think uh, for example if you take four or five drops i have seen students after four or five drops they come into mbbs so at 23 24 they enter into the first year and by 30 they are graduated so you yourself feel that at the age of 30 you are not even pg you are not earning anything so uh, it was not worth uh, to take so many drops and so many years after coming into the mbbs so much hard work so uh, there are other professions to look for and uh, in whatever profession you are best of luck give your 100% in that profession and you will surely serve the society in other domains right so best of luck take care of yourself take care of your mental health take care of your parents and uh, uh best of luck for your future adventures allah hafiz